God forevermore. Father in heaven, we thank you. We give you all the glory, the maker of the heavens and the earth, and the seas and everything that in them is. Lord, unto you are we God that reveal secrets to us. May our hearts indict a good matter. And may we leave this class better than the way we came. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. We want to thank the person of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. And also want to thank our father, Papa Joshua Igila. Say, we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Amen and amen. amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. I want to begin to look at the seven kingdoms of darkness. Seven kingdoms of darkness. And for us to understand these seven kingdoms, there is need for us to read 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 5. First Corinthians 8, verse 5. First Corinthians chapter 8, verses 5. Are you there? It says, For even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is one God, the Father, of whom are all things, And we for him, one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and through whom we live. Okay. But the part we want you to see is that verse 5, where it says, For there are so many gods, so many gods, there are so many gods. In heaven and it there are so many gods. When you see in your version so called, it's not as if Paul was saying it to mock them. Paul actually did not say so called, but the Bible expositors put it that way. But there were there are so many gods. We serve the true and the living God. That's the difference. But it doesn't mean that the other gods are false. It doesn't mean they are false. They do exist. And then Paul said. There are also so many lords in heaven and in earth. There are also so many. I like this class. So there are so many gods 
Please answer us. Eh? Yes, sir. There are so many gods, and then there are so many lords. So many gods and so many lords. He says in heaven and in earth. And this is very, very important because there are these words, gods and lords, and also this word, spirits. Or spirits will be very, very important in this module. Okay. Now, there are seven kingdoms. You have the kingdom of the earth, the kingdom of water, the kingdom of fire. This is one, two, three. Now, when it comes to the air. Please look at the board carefully. When it comes to the air, please look at the board. When it comes to the air, there are four kingdoms in the air. You have the first kingdom, first kingdom, you have the second Kingdom of the air. You have the third kingdom of the air. Then you have the fourth kingdom of the air. So you see, we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you understand? Yes, sir. The first kingdom is the kingdom of the earth kingdom of water, kingdom of fire, then you come to the air. In the air, there are four kingdoms. You have the first kingdom of the air, the second kingdom of the air, the third kingdom of the air, and the fourth kingdom of the air. Now, this is, this is known under the esoteric palace, esoteric palace, palace. Now, <coughs> remember, we, s we have talked about the three levels of operations in the kingdom of darkness. You have the, the first level is the psychic level, occult level, and the highest is the esoteric level. Remember, we have studied this thing yes, before, that the first stage, first level, is the psychic followed by the occult. That's where you have secret societies. Then you have the esoteric. Now, the reason why we showed you this is because in this study of the seven kingdoms, those in the psychic and in the occult level don't know that there are seven kingdoms. Did you understand? They don't know about what we're studying now. What we're studying now. Those in the psychic don't know it. Those in the occult don't know it. It is only for those in the esoteric, which is the highest level. This is where grandmasters, living grandmasters, 
this is the knowledge. What we're about to study is the knowledge they're operating from. In fact, let, let, let's put this to your, let, let's bring this to you. There are some people today who go through attacks and when you bring them for deliverance, during the deliverances, and when you ask them, maybe the demon is talking. Who are you? They say I'm from the Marine Kingdom. Mm -hmm. We are Marine spirits attacking so so person. The truth of the matter is, even preachers too can say, this person's problem is a Marine spirit attack. The truth of the matter is that, there is no such thing as marine spirit attack. What you have is that what is being referred to as I come from the kingdom of the waters attacking this person. The truth is, this is like we said, only those in the esoteric know what we're about to tell you. The truth is There is an altar in the waters. Yeah, are you listening? Yes, sir. There's an altar from the waters, from where that person's attack is coming from. So actually, when somebody says he's under the marine spiritual attack, actually, it is not marine spirit that is attacking the person. It just means that the person's problem is coming from an altar. In other words, on that, like we said, all these things are all operation of witchcraft too. Mm -hmm. So, but they chose that this attack that they want to launch on this person must come from an altar in the waters. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. That is what many mistake today as well. Marine spirit. But actually that spirit that is talking is responsible is a witchcraft spirit responsible for carrying out that attack, sponsored by that altar in the water. So it's a good in indication to, let, to letting us know this pressing pro problem is coming from the waters. But from where in the waters? It's coming from an altar from the water. So many of the problems that people have that is attributed or arrogated to marine spirits is actually an attack that is coming from an altar from the waters. Okay. Now. Let's begin by looking at the first kingdom, the eighth kingdom. The eighth kingdom. This Earth Kingdom is often referred to as the psychic psychic or occult kingdom of the Earth. 
called called the Delvic Kingdom. The kingdom of darkness in the earth is known as Delvic Kingdom in the esoteric palace. In the esoteric palace, you know what we mean in the study. In the esoteric in the esoteric palace. Palace. Remember what we mean by esoteric palace. We said it's the is the esoteric studies is the highest level of spiritual knowledge with the corridors of darkness. We said you the first level is the what? The psychic level. Have you forgot? The psychic level, the occult level, and now the esoteric level. Now, like we said, those in the psychic level and in the um, occult level don't know this. They don't even know that the Earth Kingdom is called Delphic Kingdom. It is, it is those in operating in the level of the esoteric. So if, let's say there's an occult meeting now, and members of an occult center are gathered, and there are few people, maybe like two or three people amongst them, who are operating in the esoteric knowledge. They can be communicating, and others don't understand what they are saying. Mm because of the higher levels of level. So this, the kingdom of the earth is called what? The Delvic, kingdom. not devil, Delvic kingdom, D-E-L-V-I-C, Delvic kingdom. Okay. So when those operating with the esoteric knowledge are, trying, are studying those in the psychic and occult kingdom, this, I hope you know kingdom here, yes, kingdom. Sir. They refer to the kingdom of the earth as what? The Delvic. Please say it, the Delvic the kingdom. Delvic so kingdom. that you, you won't forget. The, the more you say it, you won't forget. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. This knowledge, we've just already told you. This study, this knowledge, is only known by those operating in the higher uh, realms of the esoteric, of esoteric mysteries. And those kind of people, the control of these kingdoms and uh, the control of the forces in these eight kingdoms and their understanding is only known by higher masters. Higher masters. We said this knowledge is only known. The forces of this kingdom can only be controlled by the higher masters of, the higher masters of mysteries. The higher masters of mysteries in the esoteric. In the esoteric palace. So you see why this knowledge is not public. Do you understand? So the ultimate secrets of this kingdom of the earth, they are ultimate secrets and control of their forces is only in the hands of higher masters of mysteries in the esoteric. And, and this is the reason why sometimes uh, we always, you heard us say one time, you must pick your battles, you must choose your battles because it's not everybody you fight. 
there are people you can't just go and fight because you don't know where they are operating from. Except God says, go, I will be with you. I will support you. And once those forces know you are such a person that God says he is behind, he will be with you. Those forces of darkness will give way. Even their agents will give way. Knowing what is behind you uh, or who is behind you. But if you, are, if you are just there like that, you see, that's why oftentimes we encourage those in these classes to take these classes serious. To take these classes serious. So, like we said, there are ultimate secrets and the control of these forces are under the possessions of only the masters of higher mysteries and the higher masters of mysteries. Uh, esoteric mysteries now. The higher masters of esoteric mysteries in the esoteric palace. Okay. Now, when you look at the entire kingdom of darkness in the earth, the entire kingdom of darkness in the earth is ruled by a woman. Is ruled by a female. Okay. Now, can I clean this? Can I wipe this? <clears throat> okay. Now, remember. Please look up, please. There are how many kingdoms again? Seven kingdoms of darkness. And each of the kingdom is ruled by what you call ark spirit. Ark spirit. So we will say arch, ark spirits. All right? So in all these seven kingdoms, there are how many seven ark spirits? Seven. 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 Please answer us now. There are seven. seven. In all these seven kingdoms of darkness, there are how many seven ark spirits? Seven. seven. There are seven ark spirits. Ruling what? Each of the, of the kingdoms of darkness. Now, for the kingdom of the earth, the spirit that rules over the kingdom of the earth, the earth kingdom, I wrote E-K here, earth kingdom. The earth kingdom the ark spirit for the earth kingdom. The ark spirits for the earth kingdom, for this kingdom. Is called or is a female ark spirit. It's a female ark spirit called Vazel, Vazel, V-A-I-S-H-S-H-E-L, S-H-E-L. Vazel. She is the female Ark spirit. And interestingly, it, okay, um, I'll say something about that. The Hindus, the Hindus, in Hindu, or the Hindus, invoke invoke her presence, invoke her, invoke her by the name, by the name Bom, Bomi, Bonnie, Bomi. They invoke her presence by the name called Bomi. She's also called by other names, by other adepts. 
Now, this word is a word you need to mark. There are people who attain this level called adepts. Adepts here yeah, are those who are operating in a higher knowledge of mysteries in the esoteric. So there is a, there's a spirit the Hindus worship, some of them. And uh, they call her what? Bomi. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. So if you meet a Hindu guy now and you say, show me Bomi, he can show you Bomi. But that Bomi is actually Vax, Vaser. Vaser. Mm -hmm. And Vaser is the ark spirit running the kingdom of the whole earth. And in, but Hindus, the Hindus don't know her as Vasel. That's what we're saying. They know her as what? Bomi. Bomi. They know her as Bomi. Okay. And others know her by other names. Now, this spirit lives in a secret, a secret occult city called Noon. She lives in a secret occult city called Noon, N-U, Noon. And this place, this Noon, is located in Persia, Persia. And what is Persia? What is called Persia? When it says the prince of Persia, Persia, yes. Persia, what we know as Persia in ancient Hebrew, is what is called Iran. Iran today. So this spirit, yes, Iran, not Iraq, Iran. This spirit, this ark spirit, is resident in Iran. But in the occult, in the esoteric, they call Iran Nun. So you see, there's, there's a, even the, good, the very fact that um, we brought this up now. You now begin to see that the names for countries today around the world is not the same names those in the occult, particularly those operating in the higher palace of the esoteric. They don't know countries by the names they are known today. So. Um, like the United States of America, in the old court, there's a name she's known by. So. Now you begin to understand why Iran has a lot of troubles, a lot of killings. Um, terrorist attacks and all those things because of blood, blood sacrifice. Now, this Vazel, known as Bomi, and known by other names, oftentimes she's seen as a beast. She's seen as a beast, or she can wear a, another appearance of a 25 year, 25 years old female queen. Although she does manifest with other forms and with other names too, but these are just primarily what we can give you for now. So it's either she appears as a beast or she appears as a 25-year-old female queen and she looks so beautiful. <laughs> you mean the Iranians are beautiful? No, but I'm not talking about the, we're talking about the spirit here. Oh, you mean occultic people can be beautiful, you mean? This spirit. This spirit. <laughs> well, 
she can also appear as a beast too. So uh, that doesn't look beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, can I clean this? Can, can I clean this off? There are, when it comes to the earth kingdom, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We said the earth kingdom is, is run by an ark spirit called what? What's the name of the ark spirit? Vazer. Vazer or Bomi. She appears like a 25 year old or a beast. But she appears with other forms too, with other names to different other groups, other religious groups. Okay. <clears throat> now, the Earth Kingdom has 10 major zones. has 10 major zones, the whole Earth Kingdom. Ten major zones for psychic, psychic operations. Has 10 major zones for psychic operations of the forces of darkness. Now, through these zones, the secret power of Vazel is projected to operate in the earth. And the ten major zones Our psychic operations are located in the following places. Number one, the Gobi, Gobi, the Gobi Desert. Gobi, Gobi, G-O-B-I. The Gobi Desert in Afghanistan. I've only made reference to the Gobi Desert, but I've not. Himalaya Mountains. The Himalaya Mountains in India. Himalaya. Agamdes, Angades in Tibet. This Agambet in Tibet. Agam A G A M Des D E S. Agamdes in Tibet. Tibet, sorry. Yes, God bless you. That, that's true. Tibet, I said Tibet, Tibet. The, the forest of Sopan. The forests of 
so S U R P A N, the forest of Sopan in India. Strange things happen around the world. Vridavan in India too. V R I Vidravan Vridavan in India. Vrin. V R I N, sorry. Vrin. Vrindavan. Vrindavan in India. Vridavan city. It's a city in India. Vridavan city in India. Then, number six, California. California, USA. Ah, uh, California, yeah. so it's a major city. Ibadan. 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 Nigeria. Yes. The village of Tabuse. The village of Tabuse. And I hope I'm correct with my spelling. Tabuse. T A B U S E. The village of Tabuse. S E. That's for what? Eight, right? Yeah. Can I clean some here? The village of Tabusi, number nine, Jerusalem. Yeah, in Israel. <sighs> Jerusalem in Israel. Then number ten. Number ten. That place is around the mountains. Or, uh, sorry, around the pyramid of India, of Egypt. Yes. Number nine is Jerusalem in Israel. Then number ten is around the surrounding there. Number ten. It is around. The pyramid of Egypt. Okay. So, have we gotten it now? Okay, so can you? Read your notes for me. So, can you can both of you list the ten occult centers? Number one, two, go. No, 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 no. Please, let's do it again. One to read loud so that we can hear you. One to go. Gobi, not Kobe. Afghanistan. Okay. Himalaya mountains in India. Himalaya mountains in India. In, in, in Tibet. 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 Okay. Okay. Go ahead. The forest of Sopan in India. The forest of Sopan. Okay. Go ahead. Vrindavan. Vrindavan. V R I N D A. 
V A N. Vrindavan. Vrindavan city in India. Please let's say it so that you can get used to it. City in India. Okay, let's start again. Okay, number one. Number two, Himalaya mountains in India. Number three, Agamdes in Tibet. Number four, Vrind the forest. Okay, number five, Vrindava in India. Number six, California. The next, Ibadan City. Yes, Ibadan City. Yes, in Nigeria. The village of Tabusi. Do you know where it is? No, in Japan. Yes, the village of Tabusi in Japan. Okay, Jerusalem in Israel and around the mountain, around the pyramids of Egypt. These are the ten major. Uh, Locations, ten major zones. Zones. They are the major zones. Okay. Praise God. Now, each of these zones, each of those ten zones, has each of them, each of them, has. 100, 127 regions in each of them. So you see, if you multiply 10 by 127, by 10, sorry, so you'll be having like 1,270 regions. 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 Now, I'm glad you brought that up. Zones. Zones. In the esoteric palace, zones are higher than regions. Several regions make up a zone. Do you understand? But like us now in Champions Royal Assembly, North America, worldwide, you see, many zones, many church chapters, and different zones make up a region. So like now, Brother Ossie oversees North America as a regional overseer, but Brother Ossie has several zones under him. Do you understand? For us here in Christ. Do you understand in Christ? But in the Oko, the reverse is the case. You understand? They have regions under zones. Do you understand? We're trying to show you how orderly. People think that the kingdom of darkness is very disorganized. It's actually Christians that a lot of Christians that are disorganized. But in the Oko, they are well detailed. So you see, there are ten, how many? There are ten zones. Ten zones, we just mentioned them. And each of these ten zones has how many? 127 regions. So making it what? 1,270 regions in the entire kingdom of the earth. And Vazel runs all of them. So, in an... Okay. In our next class, we're going to stop here today. In our next class, we're going to
tell you the name of which spirit. Which spirit rules each zone. Those spirits are called great spirits. Great spirits. So there are how many great spirits for the earth kingdom? There are ten. Ten. And each great spirit oversees how many regions? One one twenty seven for each for each zone. Do you understand? So Vazel oversees what? The Earth Kingdom. Under the Earth Kingdom there are how many zones? Ten zones with one hundred and twenty seven regions on each zone, making a total of 1,270 1, regions under 10 zones. And each zone is overseen by what? A great spirit. So in our next class, we'll tell you the names of each of the great spirits for the earth kingdom. See, this, this will now make you understand that there are spirits that fight territories. They fight people. You see why? How powerful the Holy Spirit is in our lives. Why? Because all these spirits, they all, in all the seven kingdoms of darkness, bow at the sight of the Holy Spirit. And so if the Holy Spirit is upon you, that makes you a grievous terror to the forces of darkness. Praise God. In our next class, we will look at the names of each each. Um, great spirit. Praise God. I hope you've been blessed. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your kindness. Thank you for revealing secrets. Thank you for glorifying your holy name. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Holy Spirit, have mercy. Have mercy. Glorify your name. Take all the glory. Father, let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be eternally acceptable. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Testimony awaits us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen.